heading down to test site Bravo for some more testing. So I gotta need some long range on this. Really, dude? That's that's cool. Yeah, we're gonna do some more uh, epic testing. All right, so we're back out here today to do another very important, awesome uh, experiment test. So, got the single barrel out here again. So I took this year 12 gauge slug and I screwed this giant piece of oil thread into it. And you may be wondering, why did he securely fasten that all thread to that there shotgun slug? And why is he inserting said round into shotgun? Well, there's really not a good answer to this, but <clears throat> I will show you why. Let me get it all set up, and uh, yeah, we'll get back to it. All right, so let's go over what we got going on here. We got, got the single barrel with a slug in there, a piece of all thread, and tied and taped to the end of that is a, a hundred foot rope. Oops. All right, and what's at the other end of that rope? Directly attaches to my wiener. Yep, that's my wiener. Uh, we, I used to be in the mafia in the North Pole, and then so when people from the South Pole come up, this is what we'd do to them. <laughs> anyway, I was actually gonna leave this in my pants and pull that trigger, but I'm having second thoughts. So uh, let's just see what happens here. Experiment. Okay, she's hot, good to go. I got my Kevlar vest over top of it. I'm not sure if this is gonna work with the string and all that. And uh, fuck, let's just see what happens. Oh, she worked. Didn't go too far. Didn't explode though. I, that's a plus. <laughs> let's go check it out real quick. I flip it around here. Sorry, I forgot my other tripod at home. Oh, yeah. A little bit of damage. The barrel didn't explode. It didn't take all 100 foot of rope. I kind of figured it, it probably just come undone. So the slug. Well, I don't see the rod. Yeah, the rod's not attached. <clears throat> so yeah, that rod might have went flying. Wiener was safe though. Wiener was safe. Yes, yeah, so that's one reason I didn't want to shoot it because I figured the recoil would be pretty intense with all that weight, and I'm sure it was. Uh, it, gun looks good though. Inside the barrel, I don't know. It uh, I don't, probably can't see it in there. There's eh, one spot on the top. Sorry, shaking. Ah, uh, looks a little gouged up. Might just be dirty, but whatever. That's what this gun's for. R and D. I'm gonna walk down there see if I can find that. Who knows? I wonder how far the thing did go. Hmm. 